Fighters touch gloves, and this is the co-main event here at LFA number 150. Do not blink. Two finishers. And the fans are definitely cheering on Thomas Peterson, who with another victory, he just might get that call up to the UFC. You can see from the start of the fight, Richard Foster was trying to be on his bike right there. He wanted to move, stay away from the left hand of Thomas Peterson. As soon as these guys clinched up, Thomas Peterson was looking for that takedown. He knows that Richard Foster, he, he's deadly off of his back. He's a jiu-jitsu black belt with very long legs, the, the height, the reach. But he's comfortable being there. He feels like if I get there, I'm going to stay out of danger and I can end the fight with the takedown. So he's looking for the takedown nonetheless. Peterson told us his game plan is to pressure forward. And I, it, interesting, he said, you know, I don't want to reach because of his height. I'll attack anywhere. If I'm hitting him in the chest, I'll do it. At some point said he would take him down, and he feels if he can get him to the floor, that Foster is not getting up. But as you mentioned, there's the single leg. Yep. Nice shot right there. Single, didn't complete the takedown until he grabbed the ankle, was able to finish it. As you mentioned, Foster very dangerous on the ground. BJJ Black Belt, three submission victories. Foster trains at American Top Team Portland. Fabiano Scherner, the veteran. Great coach in his corner tonight. He's trained with Ed Herman for this fight. Even Chael Sonnen got in the gym and helped him train for this one. Right now, Peterson in a good position to possibly take the mount against the fence. Foster's jiu-jitsu black belt, and he's deadly off of his back, but that's if he can retain full guard right now. He's nowhere near it. This is heavily favoring, favoring Peterson. If he can stay out of that guard and stay on top, he have a good opportunity to finish his fight as he's working to try to trap that bottom arm, that base arm of Foster. Peterson all over Foster here early. It's a tough spot. First round finishes for Thomas the Train Peterson. Foster's trying to shrimp out right now. You see, he's got his right hand moments ago on the leg of Peterson. He's trying to use his hands right there to push against the leg and then and then shrimp out like a shrimp. Go shrimp backwards. His hip's going to slide out, which would remove his legs, removing himself from the mount. He's just not able to do it. You see Peterson, he's so heavy on top. He's so good with using his weight. Now he's in a great position. Foster this, tried to buck him off. He this fight's not going to go much longer, Ron. Over and out. Thomas Peterson with the big bomb puts Richard Foster to sleep. He's a bad man. If he gets in mount position, Peterson's a bad man. What a finish for the 27-year-old Thomas Peterson. Worked his way to get that space and then just landed some big time bombs. It was as if inch by inch, inch by inch, he crawled himself to the top. And once he got the mount, it lasted about three more seconds, Ron. You can only, you can only take so much power. And the amount of power that he's able to put down from the, the top position that he's finished so many fights that we've seen before, it's really incredible. You can see Foster's head bouncing off of the canvas by the second punch, he was completely out. That's the power, exactly, of Thomas Peterson. This is it right here, Ron. He gets on top, he has one buck, and then look, 
as soon as he gets his hips back under him, Peterson, Boom. these punches just put him to sleep. You can see, I mean, it's too much power for somebody to take, even for six foot seven black belt on the bottom. Peterson's able to get another finish. Creates the separation, and that was the shot that put Foster out. Peterson knew it. Such a class act, showing his respect to Foster. But this was a huge win for a big man. Peterson now improves to seven and one, and is this the victory that gets him the call up to the UFC? There aren't too many seven and one heavyweights out there that are not doing their their uh, work in the UFC octagon. All right, good to see Richard Foster is up on his feet. Let's now get the official time. Here's Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Travis Matier calls a stop to this fight. Three minutes, 48 seconds into the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Thomas the Train Peterson.